basically we turned an actual LinkedIn post, like I wish I was kidding. This was a mm. literal LinkedIn post we found while filming and we turned it into a three minute short film. A lot of people who watched it aren't from here. Right. So we were asked to give some explanations and context. The thing is like, it feels weird trying to explain ourselves because that's like literally the thing we're making fun of, which is people taking themselves way too seriously. I don't know about you, but for me, I'd rather not explain because it makes it more fun for people to interpret it. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's the thing. It's like, you know, when like musicians or writers or any, any type mm. of creative person like hypes you up about their own thing. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah. And then you listen to it and you're like, dude, you should just let me hear it first and then like let me ask you afterwards if it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know I, I, mean? I get so. that. It's not, to me, it's not as fun. Kind of think it's more fun for people to discuss and come up with like, different meanings that we didn't yeah, even think yeah. of and like added layers versus someone just telling you, no, no, this was this because this is this. Yeah, so it's yeah. fun. I, I, I read this book, uh, Confederacy of Dunces by mm. John Kennedy, John Kennedy, to, I, I don't even remember, mm. too, about like just this really intellectual, educated slob who's kind of like a man child who like just criticizes everything and writes all day. Uh, um, yeah. But there's no storyline. The whole book, it won a Pulitzer Prize. Mm. And the whole book is just him doing stupid shit and people like hating him and him not getting it. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. So, so like, I didn't even finish the book because I got bored of it. But <laughs> that's interesting. I get that. My favorite thing is when someone makes something, um, like an art piece or like a song, mm. and there's actually, like, no like when there's like, like actually not that much meaning. Yeah. On yeah. It, um, Donald Glover is like, yeah, for me, as far as like artists, like, high yeah, level and shit like there. that when because the internet came out he had a screenplay and throughout it and in his promotion up to the album there was this phrase roscoe's wetsuit that was just <laughs> everywhere it yeah. was like all over the uh screenplay it was on billboards it was everywhere and people kept at, and he even tweeted it and people kept asking like what's roscoe's wetsuit mean what's roscoe's wetsuit mean and people came up with all these theories as far as what roscoe's wetsuit means and it's my favorite thing because it doesn't mean shit. <laughs> like it yeah. has no meaning yeah, yeah. and people are just going off the rails. Yeah. But I think it's more fun that way. Artists can have their own meaning and everybody else can have their Yeah, but there is a lot of like meaning and depth in the development of their taste mm. that led them to the point where they arbitrarily pick this thing. The thing is that you don't like deliberately always explicitly put it in for a specific reason. It's mm. more like training for a fight, right? Like, yeah, yeah. oh, I have so many drilled combinations mm. in my head. I was not deliberately trying to f squeeze them in during the fight. I just right. like went. Like I'm sure Frank Ocean is probably just abstractly writing words randomly mm. and then just getting synonyms until it sounds cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, knowing yeah. the, the context into what led to that point. Because to me, I'm like, all right, there's facts, but I like the context behind it because not yeah. everything's as straightforward as one plus one equals two. So like, if you know the most basic things about Frank Ocean and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously the first thing that people talk about is sexuality. So yeah, yeah. when you see that blonde has two different, um, it was written two different ways, the one with the E and the one without the E, cool. That has its own meaning and context yeah, behind yeah. it. But if you don't know what that means, you don't know the context, you know, you can come up with your own conclusions with it, right. which I think is fun too. In, in our case, I think the context is, I think we just captured the sweatiness of being in the Bay Area. <laughs> yeah, the sweatiness <laughs> of being much. in the Bay Area because this is just a hotbed of nonsense. It's hella expensive to live here. And we have to finesse and grind our ass off to get this salary that doesn't even allow us to live anywhere in the Bay Area unless we have roommates. So we're like 48. Yeah, yeah. And that's the whole game here because like, is a broken fucking system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're yeah. happy and yeah. happy to announce. <laughs> yeah, amazing. All right, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Okay. Nice. Thank you.